The bones are the most common site of metastasis in cancer. Exgiva is a treatment for bone metastasis from breast, prostate, lung, and other solid cancers. Exgiva is the trade name. Its generic name is denosumab. Exgiva is made by Amgen. Exgiva is a treatment for bone metastasis to prevent fractures, damage to the spinal cord, called spinal cord compression, severe bone pain, and high levels of calcium in the blood. Exgiva is not approved for use in patients with multiple myeloma, a type of blood cancer that can affect the bones. When cancer has metastasized to the bones, it causes weakening of the bones. Exgiva counteracts this process and strengthens the bones so they don't hurt, break, or cause high levels of calcium in the blood. Exgiva is an antibody developed in the lab that works on bone cells. It helps to keep bones stronger by blocking proteins that destroy bone tissue. Exgiva is given by a shot under the skin, in the upper arm, upper thigh, or abdomen once a month for as long as it is working or until it is not tolerated. Common side effects I see in my patients can be fatigue, weakness, and nausea. More serious side effects include osteonecrosis of the jaw, which is damage to the jawbone, shortness of breath, low calcium levels in the blood, allergic reaction, and rarely a fracture of the femur bone. One of the side effects that is serious is called osteonecrosis of the jaw. To try and prevent this side effect, a dental exam should be performed prior to beginning treatment with Exgiva. Another precaution to avoid side effects is to take adequate calcium and vitamin D. Women and men should consume calcium 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams per day and vitamin D 800 to 1,000 units per day. Exgiva can cause fetal harm, so it is important not to be pregnant or become pregnant while taking it. Exgiva improves the quality of life for patients with bone metastasis and helps keep their bones healthy.